Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 867. And if you want to download this workbook, 867 to 868, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about calculating an average with not and between criteria. So we want to calculate the average units for the products that are not type 1 and that are between the age 15 to 19. Now we're going to use the average ifs function, which only exists in two, Excel 2007 and 10. Um, I'll show you briefly a formula for earlier versions after we're done. The criteria, that's the not criteria. Less than, then greater than together, not type 1. And then we have integers in our age, our age column. So when we're counting between, we're going to include the lower end and the upper end. And that's how you do it. Greater than or equal to. The greater than is pointing to everything over there. Less than or equal to pointing everything over there. So these two together will be between. So when you do not and between, you actually have three criteria. All right, so we're going to use the average ifs. Absolutely awesome, 2007 and 10. The screen tips are actually uh, quite helpful. The average range, that's the range we want to average, comma, the criteria range. Well, we'll do the not criteria first, so we'll select that, comma. The criteria, I've already typed it into the cell. You can actually type the comparative operator and the criteria right in the cell. Down here, I'll show you a slightly different way to set that up. All right, criteria one, comma, screen tip is polite. It says criteria range two. Now we have to highlight the age, and we'll do the lower. So that'll be that one, comma, and then the age again, comma, and then we need criteria three. So it's this uh, 19 right there. And then close parentheses. So that's the average ifs, and it gives us 16. Now notice something about the average ifs and sum ifs and count ifs and uh, the, the ranges uh, and the criteria are separated. If you're in earlier versions, one way to do this is to do uh, sum product. But notice that the comparative operators are, you have the range and then you directly compare this uh, criteria. But I didn't, I couldn't type this. I couldn't use that. I had to actually use the comparative operator in the formula and point to type 1. The double negative converts them to ones and zeros. And notice also in earlier versions, you had to run one criteria, two for the between, and then the uh, column with the units. And then that whole bit's in the numerator of uh, the average calculation. And then the bottom part repeats that, omitting the sales, and just gives it the count. All right, so now it, oftentimes you, you don't want to do build individual calculations just based on one. You want to cover all the categories. So these cover all the categories that we have in our age. So we'll use uh, average ifs, average range. We're going to start with the units, and I'm going to lock it with the F4 key, comma, criteria 1. We'll do our not, F4, comma. And I'm going to put the not criteria, the comparative operator, in double quotes and join it using the ampersand to that cell right there, F4, as I copy that down, comma, and um, Criteria range 2, we're going to have to do our age twice, lock it with F4, comma. And the, we'll do the low one, so it would be anything in double quotes greater than or equal to in double quotes join symbol. So there's our criteria 2, so we're going to have to get the lower one, comma, get the age column again, F4, comma, and then greater than less than or equal, because we're talking about the upper end, and double quote, ampersand that. And so that formula right there will work. Now, we didn't lock this one and this one, because these will move. That's the moving criteria. But all the rest of it was locked. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. And so there we have calculating an average with not and between criteria for a bunch of categories or for a single category. Um, when we come back in our uh, next video, I'll show you how to do conditional formatting. Uh, so whatever you type here, it'll highlight. All right, see you next trip.